Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building another train from the UK here, and we're going to be building this GNER Class 91, and we're going to be doing the whole train in this one video. So we'll have the locomotive here, and then these Mark IV passenger coaches. And this is what they look like. And then at the back of the train, I'm going to show you how to modify the locomotive into the DVT for the rear end of the train here. And this is what it looks like. So let's get right into the build now. So we're gonna start off on the very front. So we're gonna take out warped slabs or dark prismarine, whichever you use for blue, and put three on the bottom middle. Then directly above them, we're gonna put three netherite blocks. So it'll be like they're floating here. Then three more on the front. Then on the front middle, a polished deep slate slab. Then under this, we're gonna put two sideways dark oak fence gates and also a fence gate on either side of this slab here. Then on the side on the front of each side, put an upside down forward facing warp stair, then a blue concrete behind the stair on each side. Then, on the bottom of the blue concrete, we're now going to put an upside down backward facing warp stair here, and one on this side, and then another upside down backward facing stair here and here. Then, in the middle of those top stairs, we're going to put three black stone brick blocks. Then we're going to come on bottom, on the next block behind this. And we're going to put a netherite wheel on each rail. In front of it on the upper hip box, three wide in the middle with polished deep slate slabs. Then a polished deep slate slab in between here, and then three wide on the upper hip box. Then we're gonna put two netherite on the center and two polished deep slate slabs on the bottom of each side. Then three slabs on the top coming across, and then another set of netherite wheels on each rail. Then a slab in the middle and three on the upper hip box behind it. Then go through and put a hopper on all four wheels. Then we're gonna crouch and we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull on each of the hoppers. And same thing on this side, put a wither skeleton skull on the two hoppers over here. Then we'll come on the second layer and we're gonna fill it three wide in the middle with black stone brick block and bring it to the back of this. Then behind this, coming off these slabs on bottom, we're going to go three wide again with polished deep slate slabs and we're going to extend that down the middle and make it nine blocks long. So a three by nine. And then we'll fill the second layer on the top middle three with black stone brick block to the back of it. So it looks like that. Then we'll do the rear truck. So come down here. We're going to add three more polished deep slate slabs right here. Then a netherite wheel on each rail, a slab in the middle, then three slabs on top. Then two netherite in the center, and two polished deep slate slabs on the bottom of each side. Then three wide on top with slabs again, then another set of netherite wheels with a slab in the middle, then three wide with slabs on top again. Then same as before, put a hopper on all four of these back wheels. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And same thing on this side, put one on these two hoppers. Then we'll come up top again with black stone brick block. And we'll fill the top middle three above this and we'll bring it to the back. Behind that on top we're going to put three netherite blocks on the top middle here. And then a polished deep slate slab in the center. Then come on the side and we're gonna put two blue concrete right here and two blue concrete right here. Then on this bottom middle, put three warp slabs down here. Then take a dark oak fence gate, one under here and one on either side of this slab. 
Then we're going to come in front of this and put an upside down forward facing warp stair in this corner and one in this corner. Then we're going to go back to dark oak fence gates and we're going to open two fence gates on the center of the truck and then a slab on the top of either side of the fence gates. Repeat here, so a slab here and here, open two fence gates in the middle. Then we'll get the other side, do the same thing here, and one more corner to go, do the same process here. Then we're going to come up just in front of these back wheels and put a brewing stand on the top of each side. And then across this back, a full row of warp slabs up here. And same thing on this side, a full row of warp slabs up here. Now for this middle section, we're going to take a polished black stone stair. And we need to be on the first layer above the rail. And we're going to do a stair going this way, a polished black stone slab, then a stair going this way. Then we're going to repeat the pattern, so a stair going this way, a slab, a stair going the opposite way. And one more time, a stair going this way, a slab, and a stair going the opposite way. So you have three sets of the same pattern. Then above it, we're just going to copy the pattern directly up another layer. So it becomes two layers tall with the same pattern repeated. And it looks like this. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to come right here on the first layer above the rails, two stairs going this way, two slabs, then two stairs going this way. Then repeat a second time, two stairs going this way, two slabs, two stairs going this way. And finally a third time, two stairs going this way, two slabs, and two stairs going this way. Then we'll go back to warp slabs, and we're going to fill this top outside edge on this front corner across here. And then of course we'll do the same thing on this side. Come right here and fill this with slabs as well. Now this locomotive actually has a cab at the rear so we're going to come down to the back and we're going to put three deep slate tile walls in the middle then a column of two blue concrete on either side then three yellow concrete in the middle then another three yellow concrete in the middle then two blue concrete on each side and three black stained glass on this top middle then three blue concrete on top then we'll swing in front of this on each side we're going to do two columns of three blue concrete coming up. On top of that, we'll do two black stained glass panes on either side. Then we'll do a column of four blue concrete here and here. Then on the bottom, we're going to put two upside down outward facing warp stairs in a column here and two here to mark off where the back doors will be. Then in front of those stairs, we'll do another column of four blue concrete coming up on each side. Then on either side of this stairway here, we're gonna put three birch fences on each side. Do the same thing here, so three fences here and three here. And now that that's marked off, we'll come up front and start working from the front here. So we're gonna come on top of the front here on the very first block and we're just going to go five wide with blue concrete. Then we're going to put five upside down, forward facing warp stairs on the front of it. Then, above this, we're going to put a warp stair on each side. Behind it, three yellow concrete in the middle. Then a blue concrete here and here. On this front middle, we're going to put three oak slabs right here. Then, we're going to put a warp stair on either side again, then three oak stairs in the middle. Behind this, do a column of three blue concrete on each side behind it. Then we'll put a warp stair here and here, then three blue concrete across this bottom middle right here, and we're gonna put three black stained glass panes in the center. Behind that, we're gonna put three black stained glass blocks in the middle. Then a blue concrete on each side and fill in underneath each side with blue concrete as well. 
Then behind this, on the bottom of each side, we're going to do a 3x3 three three of blue concrete. Then we'll put one blue concrete on the back of each side and two black stained glass panes for the side windows. Then on the bottom of each side behind this, we'll put two upside down warped stairs in a column. And behind the stairs, we'll do a column of four blue concrete on either side. Then we'll take birch fences and we're going to put three on either side of these stairs. And do the same thing over here, three fences on either side of this stairs here. Then behind this on the bottom outside edge here, we're going to fill this all in with two layers of concrete and bring it down until it meets up at the back. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, so two layers of blue concrete going end to end across this side. Then above this, we'll start on the front corner here. We're going to add two blue concrete here and here. Then we'll do a two by two of deep slate tile walls on either side behind it here. Then behind that on each side, we're gonna do two layers of four blue concrete on each side. Behind this, a two by two of deep slate tile walls again. Then at the back, we're gonna put a column of two blue concrete in each back corner then a column of two deep slate tile walls in each corner. And then we'll fill the rest of this on each side with two layers of blue concrete. Next, we're gonna come on this top outside edge, start on the very back here, and we're gonna bring a full line of warp slabs coming forward. And then when we get here, where the stained glass is, come straight across the front. And then we'll come right back down the other side all the way to the back with a full line of slabs. Then we're going to go throughout all four of these holes where the doors go and go ahead and put a door in all four of these. Then we'll go to blue concrete on this top middle and we'll start up here we're going to go three wide in the middle and we're going to bring it forward until it's just behind those deep slate tile walls there. Then in front of this we're going to drop one box down and we're going to do five coming forward and three wide with blue concrete right here. Then in front of that we come one box up and do three. Then we'll start from the front with our blue concrete and we'll start right here and we're going to bring it back till it's aligned with these front doors. Behind that, we're going to do a 3 by 4 of deep slate tile blocks and then fill the rest of this 3 wide with blue concrete. So we have that one spot that drops down there because that's where the pantograph will be. Now we're going to do some of the striping detail and for that we're going to take out mangrove signs and we're going to start behind this mat on this level here and do a line of signs coming back right here and then three back here on that same level. Then we'll repeat for this side. So we'll start right here behind this mat, do a line of mangrove signs across this, and then three right here. Then we're going to put a single birch sign right here and do the same thing on this side, put a single birch sign right here. Then we're going to put a warp button on the front right here and one over right here. Now we'll do the pantograph, so we're going to come on top where this gap is and put a polished deep slate wall on either side of the back, then skip a block forward and a wall on each side. Across here at the same level of it, we're going to put three iron trap doors here and one on each side like that. Then up here we're going to put two iron bars towards the front of it like this. Then right here up one and forward one, then right here up one and back one then one out to each side up here. Then we're gonna open a birch fence gate on either side. And then we'll put three iron trap doors across the top here. Then we're gonna take out the iron bar here and here, leaving only the middle one. 
then we're going to come up here and we're going to put a sideways birch fence gate in the middle then here two flower pots and a black candle over on that other side put a grindstone there then right here two rows of three iron trap doors and that's our top detailing and actually I just realized there's a tiny red pinstripe along the top of this so this next step is going to be optional up to you you can leave these slabs the blue so that the top has the correct detail or if you want the red pinstripes for the correct side detail we can go through and we're going to take out all of the warp slabs on top and replace them with mangrove to get that pinstripe. Just like that. Now come into a loom with a blue banner and yellow dye. We're gonna put a vertical on the right, then make the top half blue. Then go back to yellow dye, and we're gonna put a horizontal on the top, a horizontal on the bottom, and a vertical on the left. New banner. Vertical on the left, vertical on the right, diagonal. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle, and the bottom. New banner. Vertical on the left, top half yellow, and a diagonal. Then we're gonna go to blue, die and we're going to put a border around the G and the R only. Then we're going to come right here with these banners and we're just going to use them to put G and E R. The G and the R are actually a smaller font so that's why we only put borders on those. And then same thing here. Use these banners to put G and E R right here. Now we'll detail the back. So right here in the middle we're going to put three sandstone walls then on either side we're going to do a dark oak sign and the side ones are going to have three sets of parentheses and the middle one blank then hit the side ones with light gray dye and a glowing sack for the lights then we're going to come up front and we're going to put a birch sign on the middle here and on this center one we're going to do three full rows of ash tags Then on either side of that, we'll do a birch sign with three sets of parentheses for the lights. And we'll hit those with light gray dye and a glowing sack. And this is the complete tutorial for the locomotive here. We're actually not going to build the interior just yet, because we will need to modify the one at the other end of the train into the driving van trailer. So we'll end up doing the interiors last here. So now we're going to move on and start on our Mark IV passenger coaches. So we're going to come down back here and we're going to add another polished deep slate slab onto this one and then put a dark oak fence gate under it and on either side of the slab. Then behind this, on this second layer, we're going to use polished black stone block here and we're going to go five wide and three blocks long. Then under this outer edge, three upside down outward facing polished black stone stairs here. Then come to this side and put three upside down stairs facing outward on this side here. Then we're going to put a dark oak button on this top front corner and on this side. Now come behind this. On the next block down on bottom, put another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to do three polished deep slate slabs on top, another right in the middle, three polished deep slate slabs on top. Then we'll put a slab on the bottom middle here and here. Behind that, another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we'll go through, put a wither skeleton skull on all four of these wheels and a dark oak bend skate on the middle of each side. Then this middle section sticks down for this car. So we're gonna take out chiseled polished black stone and we're going to go three wide in the middle behind these wheels and we're going to extend that back until it's 25 blocks long. So a 3 by 25 of chisel polished black stone in the center. And then once you have it 25 blocks long here, 
we're going to come on the side and we're going to put a full row of upside down polished black stone stairs all along the side of it facing outward and then same thing on this side a full row of 25 upside down polished black stone stairs then we're going to do the back truck so right behind this we'll do a set of netherite wheels with an in-route axle then on the top three polished deep slate slabs then a netherite in the middle then a slab on the bottom of each side then three slabs on top again then another set of netherite wheels and an in-route axle then put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels and a fence gate on the center of each side here then behind this on the next block back we need to be up on the second layer and up here we're going to do a five by three of polished black stone coming out to each side and then under this edge three upside down polished black stone stairs here and then three under this side then we're going to put a polished deep slate slab on this back middle and we're going to put three fence gates under here then we're going to go back to chiseled polished black stone block here on this second layer and we'll start at one end and we're just going to go three wide in the middle up here and we're going to bring that all the way down to the other end of the car to fill in the second layer of our base and come right across this truck to the other end and now we're going to do our side detailing so we're going to come to this right hand end of the car on top of these stairs we're going to put a polished black stone block on each corner then a polished black stone stair facing outward then two polished black stone blocks on either side in front of it then a dark oak button here and here then we're going to come to this corner on the other end of it put a single polished black stone block with a dark oak button on either side then we're going to do three chiseled polished black stone and two polished black stone same thing here three chiseled polished black stone two polished black stone then across the rest of this fill it all in with chiseled polished black stone just to get some details on the side here and do it on this side as well Then above this truck, a row of polished black stone slabs across here and on this side. Repeat at the other end, so a row of polished black stone slabs across here and get the other side. Then we're going to go to blue concrete and we're going to put five across the top of the end here. In front of it on each side, two mangrove planks. Repeat at this end, so five blue concrete across the end and two mangrove planks on either side. Then we're going to do a full single layer of blue concrete all the way down the side end to end here. And we'll repeat for this side a full row of blue concrete on this side as well going end to end. Then we're going to take out mangrove doors above the planks and we're going to put two mangrove doors here, two here. Then on this end cap, a birch door in the center, and a 2x2 two two of blue concrete on either side. Then 5 blue concrete across the top. Then above these doors on each side, we're going to do 2 mangrove planks up here, and 2 on this side. Then we'll repeat down here. So above these planks, put 2 mangrove doors on either side. Then a birch door on the middle. 2x2 two two of blue concrete on either side, 5 across the top. And I put blue concrete above these doors, but it needs to be 2 mangrove planks above the door on each side. Then behind the door, we're going to do another full row of blue concrete going end to end across here. Do the same thing on this side, another full row of blue concrete going end to end across here now. Now we're going to do our windows, so we're going to come to this left corner and put two blue concrete on either side. Then we're going to do three black stained glass panes, then we skip 
just one block, three black stained glass panes. And we're gonna keep copying that pattern with three black stained glass panes with a one block gap between all of them, coming down to this end until you have a total of eight windows. So there should be eight windows, all with a gap of space between them. Then we'll come through and just put a single blue concrete in between all these windows. And then three on this end here. Then we'll come to this side with our blue concrete and just copy our pattern directly across to this other side. And then of course we'll come back through and fill all these windows in with three black stained glass panes each. Then finally on top, we'll do another full row of blue concrete above the windows going end to end up here. And of course, same thing on this side, another full row of blue concrete going end to end up here. like that. Now we'll do the interior. So across the end of this on bottom, two rows of three netherite, then a row of netherite right down the middle to the other end. And then when we get down to this end, we're going to put two rows of three netherite across this end. Then we're going to switch to gray wool and we're going to fill in both sides going end to end in these holes with gray wool to fill in the rest of the floor. Then once that's done, we're gonna take out iron blocks and right here, we're gonna frame in a door and then put a birch door in the center. Then we'll repeat at this end. So right here, we're gonna frame in a door with iron blocks and put a door here. Then we're going to come down to this end where there's a missing window and we're going to put three iron blocks here and an end portal here for the bathroom. Get a door over it and an iron block on top. Then we'll put three iron blocks here and there'll be shelves here. So we're going to put three trap doors right here. Then we're going to use mangrove stairs for our seats. Then we're just going to come down each side, every other block with a stair for all the seats. Now when we get to this other end, it actually just doesn't line up with the outside. So to make this look right, we'll turn around and put a stair here and here, and we'll add some tables. So an in rod here and here with a trap door on top of each one. Then we'll put shelving above the seat. So right here on the bottom hip box of the top block, we're gonna do a full row of iron trap doors going end to end across this. And then we'll repeat over here do a full row of iron trap doors over here, going end to end across this. Then we need to light it, so grab a torch, and we'll put a torch here, one on this side, and then we'll repeat at this end, so we'll put a torch here, and a torch here. Then we'll come back outside, and on the top middle, starting at one end, we're gonna fill it three wide in the middle with blue concrete, then bring that all the way down to the other end of the car. Then on this top outside edge here, we're gonna go end to end up here with our mangrove slabs for the red pinstripe or the warp slabs if you chose to go with the blue. Then we'll do the same thing here. We're gonna go end to end on this side as well with our mangrove slabs up in this corner. And then once that's done, the top of this car has these raised ridges all along that and to try and replicate that detail, we're gonna go end to end on top, three wide with warp trap doors all the way to the other. Now we're gonna come down on this left hand side under this first window. And we're gonna put two birch signs right here. And same thing on the other side. Then under the next window forward, we're gonna put two oak signs right here. And of course, same thing on this side. 
Then we're gonna come down to the first window on the other end and put one birch sign here and one here. And then same thing on this side. And now the tedious part, on all the rest of the car, wherever there's not doors, we're gonna fill it all with mangrove signs end to end. And then of course, we're gonna repeat the same process on the other side of the car. Then there's a logo on the side, and for that we're just going to use an item frame. And we're going to put one under the center of this middle window. And same thing on this side, put one under the center of this window here. Then we're going to come down and detail the end of the car. So we're going to put three dark oak trap doors under this door, then two black stone brick walls on either side, and three on top. Then a mangrove button here and here. Then we'll detail this end. So we need to get three dark oak trap doors right under this door here. And then due to space constraints, we're gonna have to take out the sign on either side here so we can put two walls on either side, then three across the top of the door, then a button here and one on that side. Then we need to make a banner. So we're gonna come into a loom here with a black banner and blue dye. We're gonna put a border on it, then make the bottom half blue then put a red horizontal stripe on the very bottom. And then we'll come place these. So we're gonna put this one right here under the button and one on this side here. Then repeat at the other end. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one here and this one here. Then here's where I realized my mistake. I had to change these two above the door to mangrove planks on either side. And then this completes the build for the single Mark IV passenger coach here. And this is what it looks like. So what we need to do next is use the structure block or structure command to copy in as many of these coaches as you want on your train. They run longer than this in real life, but I've just done four here to save time as the design and build was already pushing past three hours in real time. Then at the very back, we need to copy in the locomotive except facing the opposite way. And then we're gonna modify this because this back one actually isn't a locomotive, it's a driving van trailer. Which from what I gather is essentially like a cab car except shaped like a locomotive. So we're gonna start modifying this into the DVT. So we're gonna come back here and we're gonna take off these three walls. Then we're gonna take out these glass because there's no cap back here. And we're gonna take out this yellow concrete. And we're also gonna take out these walls on the bottom here. Then we're gonna put three blue concrete here, then add three trap doors right here. Then we'll put a door on the center, make sure it's at the very back here. Then two blue concrete on either side, and three across the top. Then we'll surround this door with our walls so it connects. And finally, a mangrove button on this corner and this corner. Now we have to modify the top because this is not a locomotive. So we're gonna take everything for this panograph off from here. Take out all these iron bars and everything down in this hole. And all this stuff as well. we're gonna raise the roof up right here so it's blush. So where it drops down, just take out all this blue concrete. And then we'll raise the blue concrete up so it's all at the same level and fill this in. Next, take off all these trap doors. And we're also gonna take out all these deep slate tile blocks and switch them into blue concrete up here. And then 
actually aligned with the back of the disbursement here. Knock out these three and these three. Then we'll have to crouch and we need to get on the top hitbox of the next block down. And we're gonna go two rows of three warp trap doors here. Then on the middle, two polished diorite slabs and then two blue carpet on either side of this. Then we're gonna come to the back with warp trap doors. Start on the back and we're gonna go three wide in the middle and start bringing that forward. And then right here, aligned with this vent, we're gonna put three in the middle, then two levers over here. Then these vents, since it's not a locomotive, are gonna change to windows. So we're gonna take out all these deep slate tile walls and we're gonna replace them with black stained glass panes. And we will of course repeat on this side. So take out all these deep slate tile walls and we'll replace these with black stained glass panes. Just like that. And that door got flipped there so I had to fix it. And now we're gonna come all the way up front to the locomotive. And this is why we waited till now to do the interior. Cause the interior of the locomotive and the driving van trailer are different. So come up to the actual locomotive on the front and we'll go ahead and we're gonna come right inside these front doors here. So we're gonna put three iron blocks under this window then three polished andesite slabs here, on either side a glow item frame with an end crystal, and a lever in the middle. Then we're gonna put three polished andesite slabs down on this layer, and we're gonna bring that back three wide. We're gonna come one block behind the door. Then up here, we're gonna turn around and put a stair in the middle, then two iron blocks on either side here and here, and a door. And then we're gonna come back here, and we're gonna do the cab at the other end of this. So we're going to come back here, start right here with polished andesite slabs at the same level of the door, bring it up to the windows here, and come one block in front of these doors, right here. Then we'll put three slabs up here, a glow item frame on either side with an end crystal, and a lever in the middle. Turn around and do a stair here for the seat on this end, then right here two iron blocks on either side and a door in the center. Then we're gonna fill in underneath here with our polished andesite slabs so that hole's covered. And we don't have room for stairs because of how the roof drops down, so we'll put two ladders here. Then at this end, we'll fill in underneath here with our slabs. Then we do have room for stairs on this side, so we'll put a staircase coming down in the middle. And then we're gonna do two floor to ceiling columns of iron blocks on either side of these stairs. Then on this side, we'll add another column, floor to ceiling, and on this side. Then right here, an end portal, and another column of iron blocks. Get a door over this. Then right here, we're gonna do two columns of brewing stands coming up. Then a torch up there to light it. Then, behind these brewing stands, we're gonna do two rows of four anvils. Then up here, we'll put four white shulker boxes. Then on this side, skip a block, a two by two of white shulker boxes, two polished deep slate walls above it, and a column of anvils in that gap. Then a column of anvils behind it on this side. Then across this, we're gonna put two rows of observers. Actually just make that three rows of observers. Then here we'll do three brewing stands, three polished deep slate walls, then a column of three walls here, and three brewing stands here. And then the interior of the locomotive is done and we'll come outside. And full disclosure, I don't actually know what's inside of there, I just know it's electric so I was making it up as I went based on other electric locomotives. Now we're gonna come all the way down to the other end, 
so we can do the interior of the driving band trailer. So go ahead and come in this end. So we're going to take polish andesite slabs, come across at the same level of the doors, one behind it, and then fill in the floor of the gap here. Then we'll put three iron blocks under these windows, three slabs here, a glow item frame on either side with an end crystal, and a lever in the middle. Turn around, put a stair here for the seat. Then we'll put two iron blocks on either side right here, and fill in underneath this with your polish andesite slabs. Then we'll do a floor to ceiling column of iron blocks on either side behind this. In full disclosure, I could only find one grainy photo of what's inside here. I know passengers are not allowed in here, but it looked like they were using it for baggage, so that's what I'm going to go with. So we're going to fill in the rest of this floor with smooth stone blocks all the way up to the front so that that back door is at the right level. Then we'll add a polish andesite stair in here. And then we're going to come right here on this side, behind these trap doors. And we'll add a column of three iron blocks. Skip one and three. Put an end portal in here. Iron block on top. Get a door over this. Like I said, I'm going to go with this as a baggage compartment because I don't know. So we're just going to fill this with an assortment of items to look like baggage. So we'll put in some chests and some random barrels and maybe even some bookshelves. However you want it to look and how full you want to make it. And then these back doors actually aren't aligning with the floor here. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to a polish and a side stair. And we're just going to go ahead and add a stair here and here so you can get to those doors. And now the interior of the DVT is done, so this completes our build. So we finally completed our full train here. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, Rail fans.